Hello and welcome to what may be the last episode of Day of the Tentacle Remastered. It all kind of depends on whether I can uh, pull together these last few bits and uh, get everything going. So, um, where we left off is uh, Laverne has a wet hamster. And if we can get the dudes dry, then he'll power the generator in the future. Uh, this is the future, honey. There you go, all futuristic. Um, Hoagie is all primed and ready to go in the past. He's just waiting for uh, Levin and Bernard to get themselves in place. Uh, Bernard has just managed to orchestrate um, the signing of the contract by Dr. Fred. Uh, Dr. Fred's just received the two million and back loyalty uh, royalties. And is uh, apparently uh, planning Dr. a holiday. Fred, what do we do now? We have to buy a diamond and plug it into the chronogen. Okay. Let's go buy a diamond. Uh, right. Still need to work on doing with this dime. There's a second dime there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. Ah. Okay, because I've done nothing in this room so far. There's a sweater, and then there's a coin slot. So I'm assuming. Anticlimactic. Uh, oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, keys. Don't tell me after all of that, all I actually needed from here was the guy's keys. Uh, is there anything in the candy machine? No spare coins. Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. Yeah, uh, no. Okay. So, uh, we have a thief outside trying to steal the car. I'm, I'm assuming... Oh, no, 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 not there. That's not where I clicked. That is not where I clicked. Go back. Go back. Off you go. Do, 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 do. I'm assuming that's... His car? Because although our, our own car that we arrived in was fairly crummy, I'm pretty sure it fell apart. Mm -hmm. Let's try this. Here, perhaps these are your keys. Where? Gimme. Hey, thanks, pal. Keep the crowbar. Thank you, Masked Man. Drat. Maybe this one. It must be one of these. <laughs> okay. Maybe this one. Then there is actually our car, and we've just basically given him um, keys that don't actually match anything. Sakuba. What can we go a crowbarring? Uh, does that mean we can finally get that off the ground? Apparently so. Uh, it won't budge. Okay. So we've got a second coin. Oh no, not again. <laughs> Back you go. Hmm. 
Oh, we can get this potato done. Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Um, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond by Pronto Post Lightspeed Delivery immediately. Thank you for calling. They didn't even take an address. Now that's service. Two million pound, uh, or million dollar get this to diamond, Fred and he's right just away. sat outside. That should do it. Where did you get this diamond anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How heartwarming. Can we bring back my friends now? We've repaired the primary device, but before we can do anything, both time pods must be energized as well. Then we can bring back uh, what's his name and who's her face? Hoagie and Laverne. Yes, fine specimens. <laughs> right, so we still need to solve uh, Laverne's situation. Hmm. So what am I missing? Is there anything left in here? What does the phone do now? I don't have time for that now. I'm on a mission. Okay, not a lot apparently. You can only make one phone call and we've made it. if we can get our coin back. I'm not so sure that's a good idea. Apparently not. So I have one coin all gunged up with gum and I need to work out what to use it on. I also have a crowbar which apparently I can use on this. Seriously? 1968? 1974? Dude, 1977. You're gonna be all day. <laughs> okay, I still don't know what that one's for, but quarters. Okay. Mm, so at this point we can pretty much try anything, can't we? Gee, the candy machine seems to be out of order. Wonder if that has something to do with my bashing it with the crowbar. Okay. So it's not that. It only takes dimes. Ah. Uh, that's a dime. Yeah. Uh, do I really want to? Okay, 
this game will not let you do anything that puts you into a, a corner where you can't get hold of it. So, if the first time went in, it was meant to go in. If the se second one goes in... Aha! Ew, it's soaking wet! So we have a wet sweater. We have quarters. Okay. That sweater in the dryer. Yes. Quarters. Whew. You put all of them in? Okay. <laughs> Seriously? Ooh, cute! This ought to warm him up. Wow! <laughs> it's been going for so long, it's now hamster sized. Wow! Okay, let's get back to the lab before somebody cottons on to the fact that I'm just walking around in a costume. And power the generator. Seriously? Hubcap. Let's take that. No idea what for. There's a face print on the glove. I hope it's sprung for good. It's done moving. It's done moving. Okay. Uh, use that with the mouse hole. You don't escape from me that easily. Open the hatch. <laughs> okay, little buddy. Come on. Back to work. Well? Look at that sucker go. He just keeps running and running and running. According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch! Great! I hope, I hope they get a chance to walk in there first. Oh yes, they do. Hoagie! I'm so happy to... Hi! Laverne! Wow! I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the sludge matic Huh? Say what? Now hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... Ha <laughs> ha! You can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Uh-oh. 
Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. I guess we better do something. Let's go. No, wait! You can't all go in the same stall. Didn't you see the fly? Uh-oh. Welcome back to the past, folks. Oh, wow. We're... We're... We're some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck here the rest of my life, listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now, wait just a minute. It's perfect tentacle! It's green tentacle. What was that green? Perfect tentacle behind you! What? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. We're going to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. Oh. Yikes. Dear. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chronogon. Together, we will conquer the world. You ten there. Go to the basement and guard the sludge matic does, does, does that really work? No one is to touch the sludge matic Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to... Leave them to me. I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Um, us. No. <laughs> All right, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. What do we do now? Whoa. It wears off. Aha! Run for it! Damn. The battery must not have had time to recharge, but it will. Okay. Maybe he won't find us. Maybe he will. You who where are you, human? Oh, maybe he won't. Okay. Um mm. so um if we go directly to the basement, that's going to be uh, really bad. Um mm, mm. Okay. Do I have anything? No, I don't. Okay. That's right, an incredible 4,000 carat diamond for the piddling sum of $2 million. That number again, 1-800-STAR-WARS. Call now, tell them Yoda sent you. Okay, um, don't really see anything in here that's going to help. Gonna have to venture outside. Let's not go down there. Let's check 
the other rooms. So if the uh, if the conventioners haven't turned up hmm, yet, this door appears to be locked. Oh, okay. No, we don't get access to that. We don't go outside because we know how many tentacles are outside. Hmm. Blasted useless paper. Aha! Uh oh. Uh oh. Take that. And this. Drat. Blasted useless paperweight. It's getting there quick. There is. Now I now realize what the mouse hole is for. Ah. Okay. Okay, at least I'm not small anymore. Um. <laughs> no time for that now. Bowling ball. I couldn't pick this up last time, it was too heavy. And now I've got Hoagie's arms, so it's no longer too heavy. Uh, okay. Uh oh, this looks like it might work. Okay, the risk again shrunk again. Hey! Where'd he go? How's everybody else doing? <laughs> Hi, little guy. Okay. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. So I'm assuming we don't get to interact with any of the uh, the various characters. Now it's still locked. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. I guess everybody else was out uh, shopping at the time, or um, hmm, shopping for supplies before the uh, convention guys turned up. What do we do with a bowling ball? Oh, here goes nothing. <laughs> Great. Now we can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Let's talk you more, do we? Uh-oh. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. Not again. You humans are so small-minded. Ha 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 Eek! Okay, we're gonna need something a bit more permanent. Run all you like, you insignificant insect. Ha 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 I've already won. Ha 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 My Dr. Fred, are you all right? Get me out of here! I feel like I'm pupating! 
Uh huh. I've already won. Just what is it you have against humans, anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together and glue on your shoes. You'll see what I mean. Um, yeah, okay. But humans also created the sludge matic which made you super intelligent. Nonsense. I created that myself and sent it back through time. I knew Fred's mad scientist ego would make him use it. How's that for a paradox? Ah. Uh... Who, Fred? But there's only one of him. Right. Anyway, you can see why I detest humans. Are you really a future version of Purple Tentacle? Who else would be brilliant enough to invent the Diminuator? Hmm. Are you more or less intelligent than the Purple Tentacle from our time? The same, but I've had 200 years to think things over. <laughs> Are you sure you're a future version of Purple Tentacle? I said I was, did I not? <laughs> Can you remember stuff that hasn't happened yet? Naturally. <laughs> Could you give us some stock tips? Don't invest in shoes. <laughs> Do we manage to defeat you and save the world? Of course not. Bummer. <laughs> do the sharks ever have a winning season? No, but the tentacles do. <laughs> How is it that you can grow hair without follicles? It wasn't easy, but the secret made me very wealthy. You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. Would you like a demonstration? Ooh. I bet you couldn't hit your own forehead. Nice try. Let's discuss your hatred of humans further. What's to talk about? I detest the whole cackling, hand-wringing lot of you. Sounds like you just hate Dr. Fred. Hmm, I suppose you're right about that. I didn't start out hating all humans, just Dr. Fred. Oh, if he won't shoot himself... Can we get a reflection going? Why don't you zap Fred with the ray gun for a change? Hmm, perhaps that would be entertaining. Uh. Oh, drat. Mm, surely we can talk this out. Hmm. Talk? Surely. Oh, Wait. that there. You haven't heard the last of me. I'll be back, and the next time, the world and all its piffling inhabitants shall be mine. All mine. <laughs> All mine. Okay, little fella. Mail this to Siberia. It's working. Our work here is done. Now we can go home. Well, kiddies, it's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now, kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. 
I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Help us, Dr. Edison. You're our only hope. Oh, all right. Hmm. I don't look right. Idiots! It seems you're not exactly the sideshow attraction you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes. Oops. Well, I'm glad that's taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal. Well, almost everything. And I hope everyone enjoys that as much as I've enjoyed playing it. And uh, that'll be it for Day of the Tentacle. If you have any suggestions of uh, other games similar to this or other uh, types of things to try, feel free to let me know.